it's quick. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Mercedes Benz S580 4Matic. But before we get in the video, I do wanna mention that if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, I'm gonna include a link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get right into the review. So under the hood of the S580, we have a twin turbo four liter V8 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. It's good for 496 horsepower and then 516 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is 16 around town and then 25 on the highway. Mercedes says that isn't official figures, but that's what they estimate it to be. And this also does have a mild hybrid setup as well. So let's go over the front end of the S580. So first off, we have the signature Mercedes hood ornament, which uh, actually moves backwards and forwards. Uh, kind of funny, it doesn't move side to side at all, but you can kind of do that little wiggle thing with it. And then the hood is perfect. So there's not a lot of like, crazy body lines happening here. It's just flat here in the center, and then you've got those two body lines on either side. But I don't know, it works with the S-Class. And notice here, it looks kind of like just like a darker color. This is actually emerald green. It's hard to tell on camera. And uh, this is not the best lighting for it, but especially in the sunlight, when it hits it perfectly, it just pops. And it's such a beautiful color. Fits perfectly with the S-Class. Coming here, we've got the fancy Mercedes headlights. We'll kind of talk about these a little bit later, but all you need to know is it's a dynamic light system. And so it's super bright and it basically tracks where you're going and everything. And so visibility at night is just amazing. From a practical standpoint, that's all you really need to know. And then you've got the LED accent light. Notice here with the parking sensors on the front end. And then you can see here with the front grill, again, pretty simplistic from a design perspective. You've got like all the sensors here with the camera in the center which they've blended it in pretty uh solidly uh some manufacturers right they just like throw a sensor and they're like whatever you know at least they did like the chrome trim and everything so that when you look at the car from a distance right it doesn't pop out and it actually still looks really good but overall the front end of this car i'm a huge fan of it now coming on the side here we've got 20 inch wheels and we have 255 millimeter tires wrapped around those wheels in the front and in the rear. And like I said, this is 4Matic, so all wheel drive. And then let's go over the design here on the wheels. So you can see we've got the silver here on the top and then notice how it's darker in the center. So it makes the spokes pop out quite a bit more. Got the Mercedes logo there in the center and look at the size of these rotors. Again, remember 20 inch wheels and the rotor fills up pretty much the entire wheel. And this does have a winter tire set up on it. And so uh, just kind of take that into account. And then notice here, we've got the chrome trim here on the side and then around the windows and then also on the door handles. And by the way, this has the pop in and out door handles. So if I uh, take a few steps back, you guys can kind of see how it looks with it being flush. And then if you have the key fob on you um, and you walk up or unlock it, then the door handles pop back open, which is pretty cool. And on top of that, at night, this has a really cool light show. So basically these will be illuminated at night, which I think is really cool. And then on top of that, you'll have like a little light down here that'll have the Mercedes Benz logo. And then the headlights and the taillights do kind of like a cool animation. So again, since this has a dynamic lighting system, the headlights will like raise up and all that kind of stuff at night. And it, I don't know, it looks cool. And then the animation there in the rear, it kind of like is sequential, so it looks cool as well. But yeah, there's the side view on the S-Class. So here's our key fob that comes with the S-Class. I really like the appearance of the fob. Got the Mercedes logo for the lock button, and then you have your unlock, and then opening for the trunk, which let's pop here into the trunk. So first off, this doesn't have space for days or for weeks, it has space for years. It is crazy how much space is back here. And underneath this tab, we've got even more space. So suffice to say, it's extremely practical from a space perspective. And even though it's a sedan and it'd be easy to lower this down yourself, they make it automated because it's an S-Class, people. Now let's finish things up with the rear of the S-Class. So first off, we've got our S580 Mercedes logo, 4Matic, and then notice again the chrome trim here above the taillights. And again, it's gonna be hard to see here in the daytime, but you can kind of see with the taillights how it goes across kind of like sequentially. I don't know, I think that looks really cool. And then parking sensors here at the bottom, and then you can see the coverings over the exhaust tip, and then the diffuser here in the rear. And other than that, that is everything for the side or the rear rather. I can't, I can't think today. We're just gonna, we're gonna cut the clip. 
Now this is where things get really interesting is the interior. So first notice the leather trim at the top of the stitching and then the quilted design down below and then the leather trim down here. And it's cool with the different textures. So you can see here, this is kind of more like a cowhide type texture and then down below. And then here it's a smoother for the texture. And so it's just a lot of different textures to look at which works stylistically. You can see the ambient lighting here and then also all of the metallic trim. And then we have our little door handle, which I don't know, I love the actuation on that. Window controls and then side sunshade controls which the sunshades are up and then you can see one of the speakers for the sound system we'll talk about the sound system a little bit and then notice the lines here across and then here are these seats uh, so first off really nice leather and then notice again that quilted design here in the center portion we have our amg floor mats and uh yes i am getting into a mercedes s580 with sandals <laughs> But you guys can see you've got this little storage space back here and uh, headroom, legroom. It's, I mean, like this is the most spacious car I've ever been in. This reminds me of like a full-size pickup truck in terms of space in the back. It's, it's amazing. Got the vents back here and we have our little charging area down below. And then we have our center console here for the rear passengers, which you can see, very nice. And, you know, just like other S-Classes, this is still like a car to technically be driven in, but most of the cool features are for the front passengers. And so this is kind of like the driver's S-Class, I guess is the best way to look at it. And so, well, let's get into all of that. Okay, so the sunlight's popping out a little bit, and that's why I'm kind of doing this before we get to the next clip. So hopefully you can kind of see the green right there now. Just, it's, it's a really cool color. Let's go over the front door panel here. So it's the same as the rear from a stylistic perspective. Again, really cool ambient lighting. And notice here all the seat adjustments for the driver. Heated, cooled seats. I mean, what more could you expect out of a luxury car? This uh, R is to adjust the front passenger seat. Yes, you can <laughs> adjust the front passenger seat from the driver's seat. And then all of your window controls, the mirrors, power fold in. Light controls are on the door panel here, which is kind of interesting. And then you have your trunk release just down below. And then get another speaker for the sound system, which don't worry, we'll talk about in a little bit. Do have blind spot mine for the mirrors. Now, before we actually go to the seat, I wanna show you guys that this does have soft closed doors, which is another nice feature. It makes sense, right? You can imagine if you were going to chauffeur someone in this car, you wouldn't wanna slam the door after you cl close it. You just wanna, right, do this, and then the door do the rest of the work for you. So yeah, makes sense that it has soft close. Anyways, here are the front seats. Yes, we in fact have pillows in the headrests, and yes, they are extremely comfortable. Like just, yeah, living life of luxury with this car this week. And then you can see again with the quilted design and then the padding here on the side. And notice nothing here on the side of the seat. Again, they keep everything on the door panel to make it so the seat looks a little bit prettier as you uh, kind of pop in, right? And then look at the pedals. Again, really nice with the design. AMG floor mat right there. And then you can see again with the leather trim extends all the way down here. Got our parking brake, ambient lighting here on the side. And you can see the two vents here and then the padding there on the dash. Paddle shifters there on the back. But let's pop in. Here is our steering wheel in the S-Class, which I love. So you can see the black trim here on the outside and then the leather in the center portion. And just everything combined, it looks amazing and it feels amazing in your hands too. That's another thing is just the feel of the steering wheel. I don't think I've quite driven a car that has a steering wheel that feels better than this particular one from a material standpoint. Here's the controls in the center. You've got your voice command controls, volume controls, phone controls, all that stuff, pretty straightforward. And you can slide here to increase the volume or you can actually press the uh, button itself. So you have like two different ways with that. And then again, like I said, paddles there on the back. And this does have adaptive cruise control. It's got steering assist. And so the car basically drives itself on the highway. I took this on a 200 mile road trip to test out all the systems. And we'll talk about that more in the driving portion. Uh, but you can see here with the airbag cover with the leather and the Mercedes logo again, just looks really high class. Got your turn signal and notice again, it feels really nice from a material standpoint. Now, last thing we do have the shifter here. So it is a column mounted shifter, normal Mercedes fashion, really easy to use unlike a uh, truck column shifter. So yeah, it's just like, it's effortless. It makes sense. And yeah, there you go. So here's the digital gauge cluster. Now this is not gonna get captured on camera, sadly, but this is the three dimensional digital gauge cluster and you just have to see in person to be able to like understand, but it is so cool how this looks like everything just, and it just, it pops out. And I, I don't know, I've, I've never seen a gauge cluster that looks quite this good. Um, and then also I love, I'll show the RPMs, it'll look a little bit better. 
like when you go up, it just, that looks so cool with like little laser line. I don't know, I'm in love with it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for the gauge cluster. I mean, it shows you basically vehicle information, all that normal stuff. The main like party trick of this, in my opinion, is just how good it looks. And then also the heads up display, I should mention that. We do have a heads up display. This is the first car I've ever driven that I've actually used the heads up display. Most cars, I never look at it, but this one, it's large enough in size and it just, it's, it's in the right place that I actually end up using it. Now, before we go over the infotainment system, I just want to mention with the engine stop start, the auto stop starts at the bottom of this little circle and uh, really nice with the material use on that. Anyways, as for the infotainment system, first off, I like that the home screen button's there at the bottom so that you can just go to it at any point. And uh, response time of the screen is really uh, solid. But my favorite part about it is, of course, the comfort tab. So first off, we have massaging seats and there's a bunch of different massage things. My favorite one so far has been deep workout and then when it's been colder, hot, relaxing back. But it's a really solid massaging system like i actually feel like i'm getting massaged some cars it's just like a little like poke in your back this actually works and then notice here if we go from that to the seat tab you can basically because it has a multi-contour seats there's a bunch of stuff that you can adjust uh with it and then we've got all the ambient lighting colors there's multi-color and then there's monochrome depending on what you want to go for right now i'm at ultra marine uh, another one that's pretty cool is the malibu sunset you guys can see Definitely a cool color. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a nice feature that this has. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, there's a lot uh, to get into. Notice we got this like info that will tell us like our MPG uh, from start, for example, that we've been getting so far. And then notice you can see like real time horsepower and torque, which is pretty cool. And then you can see uh, what drive mode we're in, right? and then everything that's happening with the vehicle. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but notice if we do like the three hour, you can see here with the uh, little line, um, but it doesn't go past that, which is kind of interesting with this particular uh, screen. But uh, what I will mention is when I first got in the car, you guys can see we've got 209 miles of range. And when I first got in the car, I had like over 500 miles of range. So it actually has really decent uh, range overall. And then you guys probably saw the climate controls down here. Now my favorite part is with the ambient lighting. I don't know if it's gonna show up too well because it's in the daytime, but when I increase or decrease the temperature, you can kind of see like it goes across the ambient lighting. So if you increase, it goes in red. And then if you decrease, it goes in blue. So that's kind of like another cool thing. <laughs> here with the infotainment system okay now the last thing is the different drive modes so we have an eco and then notice it'll tell you the exact setup on everything we have a comfort sport sport plus and then we have an individual i've literally been driving it in comfort the entire time like it it's just i don't know it, it's great it, the accelerations and you guys will see in the driving portion is fantastic so that's just all i've been doing and then there's a little vehicle button here and that pulls up this stuff so you can customize everything you can raise it if you have like a big curb or something like that you got the manual shift if you want to go into that but you can also just use the paddles for the manual shift as well um, but yeah there's a bunch of different stuff that you can basically customize here so suffice to say there's a lot happening here with this infotainment system. Next portion, we got this that closes up, which is pretty neat and the button feels great. And then also storage space here is fantastic. Got the wireless phone charger here and it actually gives you an alert when you leave the car, if you leave your phone in here, it'll say, hey, you left your phone and it's pretty loud. And so I think that's a nice thing to have. And then with the center console, pretty normal setup. Notice here with the padding all over, looks fantastic. And then again, you can see the trim there on the dash and the vents here in the center. And then notice here at the glove box, it's really big and lined with felt, of course. And then there's leather on the outside and the handle's really nice from a material standpoint. And popping here up to the top, we have the sun visors, we've got a traditional mirror. And then this is actually for the rear sunroof. So there's a rear sunroof and then there's also a front sunroof. So the front sunroof is like a slidey control, basically, which is kind of uh, interesting. And then the rear sunroof is just this physical button. So this one, you can actually open it up. That one is just like a shade that you can open up. And then black headliner, you know, the usual. So quickly, we're gonna go over the nighttime lights with the S-Class. So you guys probably already saw a little bit here. I'll show you guys the headlights in a second. They kind of all pop on at once, which is pretty cool. But notice here with the Mercedes logo, and then you can see the door handles. So again, they go in, but notice it's illuminated there. And when you pop out so you can see exactly where you're grabbing and hello Elise so Hi. start up the car and then it should just turn the headlights on I believe so 
So it's kind of hard to see here on camera, um, but the lights do like a little dance. So if you could turn the car off and then turn it back on. So demanding. <laughs> you guys can see the little dance there on the garage and then the lights level back up. So that's pretty cool. And then, sorry, one more time with the taillights. So yeah, there, there's just a bunch of cool things happening. And then of course we got the nighttime ambient lighting. Yeah, the interior just like glows. So here is the window sticker for the S580. You can see that it shows you all the standard equipment, uh, air suspension, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but you guys can see here with the emerald green color and then the Sienna brown slash black Napa leather for the interior. Um, but look at some of the options on this. So like the uh, flowing lines in the interior, 1300 bucks uh, for that. And then like this has uh, the AMG package. And then notice here um, that credit for missing standard air balance package. So there are some options that are taken out of this. That's kind of like typical in today's market when we have so many supply issues. Um, but you can see here after everything's added, so base price 117, total price $130,000. Let's take it out and drive it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. So here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So starting off in the S580, and actually I'm gonna try to lean back a little bit more so you guys can get a better uh, camera view, hopefully. But first off, let's just talk about the ride quality of this car because it is phenomenal. And we're about to go over the uh, soon to be famous rate or train tracks because I'll be using these uh, for pretty much every single car review. And it's just, it's amazing. Uh, like I thought I knew what a luxury car ride was and then I've been driving this for the last week and now I know what a luxury car <laughs> ride is. It is just, I mean, okay, look at this. So we got this bump and these train tracks and the potholes after and it's just like you hear it and you feel it a little bit, but like in a regular car, you're gonna have just tons of shaking and it's gonna be jarring. And the only vibration that I really feel is the massaging seat on my butt. That's it. So <laughs> it is so solid from a suspension standpoint. And uh, are you gonna use your turn signal? Yeah, there we go. People like to use their turn signal at the last possible minute here. But another thing, when you take turns when you go around around corners the bolster inflates so on either side depending on you know if you're turning left or right so that you don't like slide around the seat and it's so comforting and again that's another thing that i didn't real i was like oh that sounds gimmicky and then driving around with it i'm like i never knew i needed this that's a lot of features in this car like the massaging seats i'm like who cares about massaging seats and now that i've lived with this i'm like man i never knew i needed massaging seats we're gonna pop into the Sport Plus mode for our acceleration here. And uh, of course we got this slow infinity in front of us. So we're just gonna kinda take it a little bit slow while they take 10 years to accelerate. <laughs> it's quick, it is, it is sufficiently quick. We'll get a better acceleration here a little bit later, but I'm gonna pop it back into the comfort setting. And the next thing I wanna talk about is seat comfort, right? It's really important. So I, again, like I said, I took a 200 mile, you guys can see my trip is 228 miles. I did a little road trip and it was just because I was filming uh, pretty far from here. And so I used this in the form that I think a lot of S-Class owners would use is a lot of highway driving and driving from like several different business locations, right? I assume if you are gonna be buying an S-Class, you're probably like a business owner or something like that and you're gonna have to go to a bunch of different places and so you wanna make sure this car is like comfortable to go to those places. And this is the first time in any car that I've driven that many miles and not had like any sort of discomfort. My back felt perfect, like my legs felt perfect because of the massage function the whole time and like, it was such a good experience. And again, like I said, 
it, it like I never knew that there was like this level of uh, luxury like I've driven so many cars and I've driven cars that are more expensive than this frankly and this is just everything that Mercedes has done from a tuning perspective with the suspension and the shocks and the seat comfort and the bolstering everything it's just it all adds up to where you get this experience of just complete comfort and it's amazing uh, and like i said i haven't quite experienced anything uh quite like this uh, but then you know other stuff about the car like i said sound system it's a burmester sound oh, system tell me those because the train tracks again uh, the burmester sound system is phenomenal uh it's just it's great and actually, i actually want to go over the train tracks in the sport plus mode to see kind of because you know tightens up the suspension and everything and see if it's still yeah i mean you feel a little bit more but it's it's not it's not bad at all that's that's amazing in my opinion um but yeah the sound system's amazing it clarity is great and it lends to like the overall experience this car gives you and that's kind of what i want to cap things off with this video we will get another acceleration so you guys can see that this thing's really fast uh, but this car really is an experience it's a luxury experience and it's it's an experience that like I, I'm trying to not like I'm trying to put it I'm trying to put this in the best way possible that is just so amazing that once you experience it you're like man I don't know how I could experience anything else it's quick <laughs> it's really quick um, but the point that I'm trying to make about the experience with this car is here, here's the deal so like just imagine if you have like a really like high stress life you know most people do and every single day you get in your car, you, just, you can just listen to your favorite music and you can get a massage and you can be super comfortable no matter how many miles you drive and the cabin's really well insulated so you're not hearing a bunch of stuff on the outside world and you just, you just enter this cocoon every single time you get in the car and it just relaxes you. That's what the S-Class has given me is every single time I get into this car, I just feel, I feel more relaxed after driving this than before and that usually doesn't happen with driving cars. We're gonna get another acceleration here. It's so quick. Um, like I said, I just, I don't usually get that in cars. It's usually like, you get into it and you're like, oh, thank goodness, I'm out of this car, I'm uncomfortable, like it's, I've been in this seat for too many miles, and that just isn't the experience with the S-Class. So, if you want a very nice luxury experience, where again, you just, you pop in and you're kind of in this cocoon, and the whole, the outside world just kind of disappears because you, again, like listening to your favorite, whatever you want to listen to, right? And you're just getting a massage and you're just comfortable and you're just, you're getting to your destination. That's what the S-Class gives you. And like I said, I think this is more of a driver's S-Class because there's not a ton of like features there on the back seats. The back seats are really comfortable, but they don't have like all the adjustments and they don't have like a screens back there and everything. And so this is this is the S-Class that you buy if, if you, like I said, if you're a business owner and you're having to drive all over the place and you just want to be comfortable that's what this gives you it gives you a really comforting experience and at one hundred thirty thousand dollars, i'm going to say this right now i think it's a bargain because i have driven like the range rover sv autobiography full size that thing's two hundred twenty thousand dollars, and that does not give you the same luxury experience as this at a hundred thousand dollars less so and i understand suv versus sedan and all that kind of stuff but the point that i'm trying to make is there's not another car at this price point that can give you this luxury experience. Genesis G90, and I'll, I'll you know, if you guys want me to do comparison videos, I will. <laughs> but Genesis G90, uh, Lexus LS500, BMW 7 Series, they just, they don't give you the same experience that the Mercedes does. Then let's get some things up for our video on this 2022 Mercedes-Benz S580. And with that being said, I'll see all of you in that next video.